Hello, this is the third and final demonstration video for the Synthesis Technology Wave Editor before its release in mid-August. Since the first video, the most requested feature has been the ability to import your own sound files into the bank that you're creating. I'll cover this in a moment, but first I'll demonstrate some of the other new features. First, let's load bank A from the default banks. I can morph it in Z space like in the last video, but now I can also morph it in XY space. This can be made a bit easier using the new grid XY view, and I can move this dot around to move both parameters at the same time. I'm also working on the 3D Z view, but that's not ready yet, so I'm not going to show it off until the final release of the software. In the effect editor page, you can now change all the effect values at once with the average value sliders. Let's preview the bank and add wave folding on all the waves at the same time. Now let's finally get to the import feature. You can find that in File, Import Audio. I only have a handful of WAV files here, but it can load most of the common audio formats. Let's open a choral sound to get a nice ambient vocal texture. We can adjust the gain and then offset the wave or zoom in or out. In clear mode, we start with a clean slate, but in overwrite mode, we can keep the existing portion of the bank in the section that your audio file is not overwriting. We can also mix or add the waveform to the existing bank, or we can ring modulate it. But let's just leave it at its defaults. Once imported, we can go to the waveform editor to see all our waveforms in the bank. We can preview it Set the frequency and the volume. And add bulk effects. Like a high pass filter. Let's try another audio sample. This time let's load a short drum loop. And it looks fine, so just click import. And it could use some effects. Wave flowing. And you could modulate that if you want with the actual hardware. Well, that's it for now. There are still a few more features I'll be adding, but if you have any ideas or suggestions, feel free to type in the comments. I hope you're looking forward to the E352 and the E370. Thanks for tuning in.